I was talking to some friends uh, about some of these sort of knockoff trading card games, and uh, I know that one of the big things that people really get into, or at least a niche <laughs> group of people get into, are games that have uh, sort of that waifu material. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about, where it's kind of a scantily clad anime characters. <laughs> uh, somebody was like, yeah, make a video about that. And I was like, I don't know if I can, because some of these things I may not be able to show on film. And I'm like, well, I guess I could edit them out in post or cover them up in post. So we're going to try it. This is a game called Goddess Story. Uh, it's a Chinese product, as far as I can tell. Um, and the weird thing about this, I did get this from Amazon. Um, there is an actual game here, but you'll probably notice something real quick here as we go through these cards that uh, pretty much all the artwork that is being used for this game is basically stolen. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, like I said, it is technically a card game, let me see, Netcent. Okay, so yeah, it looks like Netcent is I guess the people who make this or oh look we even got a semi little box topper here okay so that should be interesting and then all the stuff that's on the back it's all in Chinese um, so yeah we're going to yeah just to kind of give you an idea that's what we're looking at here yeah lots of girls with the the you know the scantily clad stuff look at that even the, that's Ganyu from Genshin Impact <laughs> so that gives you an idea of the kind of art that's gonna be stolen and placed into this product so yeah okay let's go ahead and just open it up We'll see what we get. Again, I've never opened any of these. Gosh, this thing is really taped up. Uh, okay, there we are. I've never opened any of these, so we're just going to kind of go in. And, man, they really packed the tape on here. <laughs> okay, so let me see if I can carefully get this tape off, because we do have this... I guess this is like a box topper. And uh, it's, wow, this thing is really on there. Okay, I don't want to bend the card because even though the game itself is not, it's not legitimate. It's, uh, come on, uh, it's not really a legitimate game because like I said, the artwork and everything is stolen. But I'm sure, again, there's probably some, there's probably a niche market for this kind of stuff. So I don't really want to ruin this card just in case there's, you know, people out there that actually want it. Okay, let me try to get this without destroying the card. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna put that over there. Let me get the rest of the wrapper off. Okay. Yeah, this is really taped on. This is kind of insane. Oh, oh, well, there's a second wrapper. Okay. Well, no. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is some real quality stuff here, buddy. <laughs> okay. So we have the booster box now. Let's try to get this thing open without destroying it. There's a look at the booster packs. <laughs> and again, just an idea of what it is we're gonna be looking at. I think there's what, five cards per pack in these? I mean, the presentation of the booster pack is actually not terrible. I've seen worse. Uh, let's see, and they have a little divider in there. So I guess if I wanted to, I could cut this and then make a little booster box display in it. Okay. So I guess first things first, let's take a look at the box topper. And again, I have to be careful because there's tape here and it's still kind of sticky. Okay, well, let's just open this and let's see what we get. And again, if there's any kind of stuff that I think is a little too much for YouTube, I will be editing that out in post. And okay, this looks like an interesting card. Come on, open up. Ah, there we are. Okay, so there, oh wow, that's actually a nice looking card. It's got some texture on it. Look at this thing. Let's see, here's the back, okay. Interesting. Yeah, it's it's a little it's got a little bit of raised texture on there and again the art is beautiful but again it's, it's probably stolen <laughs> so keep that in mind but yeah all extra stuff I mean it looks like somebody who made whoever made this put some work into it so I'm actually surprised that they would just I guess they just decided to go the cheap route and they're like we're just gonna steal all the art so yeah because honestly if you're getting art for something like this like a card game it can get a little expensive but if you're gonna make a card game, you, you gotta pay the artists. You gotta do it. I mean, they're the ones putting all the work in as far as uh, your artwork. So yeah, you, you gotta pay them. Can't be stealing artwork like that, man. It's not good. All right, so we'll put you over there. And now let's break out these booster packs. Okay, so look, that's just a little insert. Okay, 
box can go over here. All right, so it said that I should get 150 cards total out of these packs. So let's open them up and we'll check the card quality, obviously. I can't read any of the cards because unfortunately I don't read Chinese. But uh, we'll see what kind of... Wow, these packs open strangely. Okay, there we go. Okay. So we're supposed to get like one foil card per pack, I think it is. Okay, oh, well, look, these are kind of like a shatter foil. Okay, that's interesting. So, yeah, okay, that's... Wow, okay, these are actually... Again, the card quality is actually pretty good. I'm surprised how good this is. Okay. And, oh, look, see, that's 2B, obviously, from Nier. <laughs> it even has the same name. They don't even change the name. They're like, yeah, it's whatever. Okay, so that's nice. And again, more scantily clad uh, cat girls. Yeah, again, the artwork is beautiful, but it's not their art. And, okay, wow, that's nice. Again, very slightly raised texture. Back looks interesting. Yeah, again, if this were a legitimate product, this would actually be really nice. Yeah, the, the, the only thing that they kind of have going against them right now is the fact that they did not pay for this art. Yeah. Okay, so the cards look great. Yeah, okay, so we'll put you over here and we'll put you there. Okay, now we're gonna keep opening. And again, the packs are a little weird. There we go, that one opened better. Let's see what kind of goodies we get here. Okay, we've got somebody in a, in a wedding dress. If you know any of these characters, put it down in the comments because I don't know all these enemy characters. I know a few, but not too many. Okay, that looks interesting. Uh, another interesting one. They're all going to be interesting, aren't they? Okay, see, again, that's a beautiful piece of art, but... Yeah. <laughs> oh, and look at this. <laughs> again, that is a neat-looking card! It is such a... Oh, that one... Oh, no, that's part of the design. Okay, it's, it's a flower. Okay, I thought there was, like, a little dent in it. I don't know if you can see that on camera. But it's actually part of the design. Okay. Again, the, the, the card quality is great. And it, their cards are nice and thick. It's 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 just it's a real shame. It really is. It's a it's a real shame that these cards are, you know, again as beautiful as the cards are, they're based basically on a lie. Yeah, it's just it's too bad. You know, I wonder if this company could pivot and say, look, we're not going to be doing the, the art theft anymore. We're oh my gosh. Okay, so she's gifted. We're not going to be doing the art theft anymore. <laughs> She's also gifted. And we're going to try and make a legitimate game out of this. They could do that. They could. Uh, again, another interesting card. Oh, look, she's got a basketball. <laughs> and oh, my goodness. OK, I guess that's an SSR. Is that OK? So these are labeled. OK, so they actually have them on the front. SR, SR, and that's an SSR. OK, or super, super rack. Maybe that's what that stands for. <laughs> Because let's face it, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's keep going. Oh my god, this video is so getting demonetized. Because the video is probably going to get demonetized, that just means you'll have to go watch my other videos. Oh, I know this girl. Isn't this the girl from, like, Chainsaw Man or something? I think that's who that is, right? I could be wrong. Yeah, okay. And again, another very gifted young woman. Uh, that's a, oh, these are, okay, wait a minute. Rare, rare, well, all these say rares. What's with the R? I just noticed that too. They're all considered rares. They're not very rare if they're this common. <laughs> okay, again, another uh, young lady. And again, somebody else showing a whole bunch of boobies. Yeah, and again, card quality is nice. Yep, this is gonna be one of those card games that uh, it's gonna go down in infamy for stealing art. But what wasted potential. Such wasted potential in this game. Yeah, it's very unfortunate. Let's see, we've got another uh, cat girl here. Uh, well, she looks familiar. Was, I, I don't know who this is, but she seems familiar. I think I've seen her in an anime. Uh, okay, that's weird. Uh, and then we got ourselves another anime girl, more boobas. And, oh my god, that's Bunny Girl. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, 
that's Bunny Girl Senpai. I mean, if you've not heard of the whole Rascal Bunny Senpai anime, yeah, it's it's a very it's actually a very entertaining anime. Uh, but yeah, that's some stolen artwork of Bunny Girl Senpai. So yeah, again, unfortunate. They could they could actually probably work some deals with some of these companies and probably get permission to use some of this artwork. Well, not necessarily the companies, but the, the original artists. They could just contact them and say, hey, we'll pay you X amount. Can we use your artwork? That sort of thing. But of course, they're not going to do that. Uh, oh, that's actually really nice. I like the colors there. It's kind of like a peach and orange color. And I have no idea what this anime is. Again, very gifted. Uh, this one actually looks nice. I like that. I like her hair. And what do we got here? Okay, I have no idea who this is. But apparently she's working out. Is that what's happening? Okay. So we'll put you over there. All right. Start moving. I, I would move a little faster through these cards, but again, just <laughs> based on what they are, it's like, you know, you kind of have to take your time with them. All right, what do we got here? Uh, very, uh, I mean, it's cute. I mean, I, mean, I know somebody would like this card. It's a cute little piece of art. Uh, that's a very different art style. Um, the corners on her face are a little sharper. Okay. What we got here? I have no idea who this is. HK416 is what it says. And then it's got a shatter foil type of thing. Oh, we got something interesting coming up. Oh, that's actually a really nice piece of art. The only thing I don't like about this is it feels like the red and the green clash a little bit. But that's, uh, you know, uh, I mean, otherwise the art still looks great. And what are we? Oh, wow. Another SSR that's kind of got like a golden sheen to it. Again, th the look, you, these are etched in. These little edgings right here, these are all etched in. You can feel it on the card. Again, it's a, it's a beautiful card, man. It's just a dang shame that, yeah, it's... I think that's what I'm just going to keep saying this entire video. I'm like, you said it like eight times. I know I've said it eight times because it continues to be true. It's, I mean, it's, again, this, this could be a great card game with great cards, great card quality, but they just went down the wrong path. It's, it really is a shame. Again, we got the wedding dress girl. And, oh, I think these are, this is the same order of commons we got in another pack, I think. Okay, well, these two are the same. This one, I think, was different. Okay, that's also different. And then we got another SR here. I don't know who this is. Again, if you know who it is, let me know in the comments. I think I'm probably going to stop opening these probably after the first stack because we already kind of know what we're going to get. And then I guess these, I could save these like for uh, for like opening shorts, you know, like those little one minute shorts that I do. We'll do that. So let me see how many packs we got. We still have seven packs left. Then. So we still got plenty of stuff to look at here. All right. So again, another lovely piece of artwork. Oh my god, that's Lisa from Genshin Impact. <laughs> this is very obviously not licensed. <laughs> Again, nice piece of art, but we know they don't have permission to use it. Uh, oh, we've had this one before. Uh, yeah, we had the basketball girl again before. And okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's a super rare, all right. Yep, that's something. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, we kind of already know what we're getting here. We're getting uh, lots of anime boobs <laughs> and this kind of cutesy stuff. No men! We've had no men on any of these cards. So, yeah, that kind of tells you all you need to know. All right. <laughs> I don't know who this is. Uh, oh, that's it. She's like a, what is she, like a cat girl? Looks like it. She's got like a little thing in the back there. And again, another lovely piece of art. Oh, that's cool looking. And what do we got here? Oh, she looked so innocent for the super rare. All right, put that over there. As far as me selling these cards, I mean, I guess I could, but it, I don't know, man. I'll have to think about it because I, I can tell you right now, I know there's a market out there for this sort of stuff. There really is. Cat girl again. And yeah, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting duplicates now. That's, you know, normal. You know, we already had this one before. This one I don't think we've had. Okay. And then, oh my gosh. Is that the, is that the girl from the slime? The slime anime? Yeah, because she's got the slime on her head. Yeah, that is her. Okay, yeah. SSR. Wow. Okay. 
because yeah, like I said, I mean, the cards themselves are neat, but it just feels weird because you know that there are people out there who are probably looking at some of this artwork and thinking, wait a minute, I drew that. Why is that on a card? I'm not getting paid for that. At least I don't think they're getting paid. I've never heard of anybody getting paid from this game. So yeah. All right, well, we got two B again, and again more Cat Girl. And oh my God, her poor back. This poor girl. How does she stand? <laughs> I say that sometimes, I'll, I'll occasionally, because I mean I follow card games and all that stuff, and occasionally, even with legitimate card games. You'll see some of that artwork, and this does not want to open. You'll see some artwork that's a little more risque. Um, and just uh, just as, you know, something to be kind of silly, I'll say like, man, her poor back. And some people don't understand that comment. They're like, what do you mean? What's wrong with her back? And I'm like, just look at her. Girl, and? I'm like, her poor back. And? I'm like, okay, you have no idea. Apparently they don't understand that breasts have weight to them. So, I don't know, maybe they're just younger people. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> more cutesy stuff. We've had her before. Uh, I don't think we've had this one. That one's kind of interesting. Okay. Uh, we have had this one before. And okay, another super rare girl in a bikini. Yep, with a wet shirt. Now, I think... Uh, I don't know. Based on the art that I've shown here, I don't think I'll get demonetized. Although, I can't say for certain. We'll have to see. Maybe I'll get like that whole limited access or limited ads sort of thing, which is kind of a death sentence, unfortunately. Uh, more boobs. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a lot of the, the same cards now, so it wouldn't really make sense for me to keep opening these. And oh my gosh, <laughs> it's 2B again. And uh, yeah, she's uh, in a very interesting position. All right, so last pack. Like I said, I'm going to save the rest of these for, for singles openings. We'll see how that goes, because, like I said, I just wanted to open these just so I could give you all an idea of what it is that we're looking at. We already know, so no point in opening any additional packs. And again, I think that's the girl from Chainsaw person. Uh, yeah, we've already had this one before, had this one, and this one. Wow, an SSR. Again, the art is art. <laughs> and the card, again, these are it's, it's raised foiling and raised stamping it's such a it's the car itself and the quality is so beautiful it's a it's just a shame it really is it's a huge shame that a company that can make a good product i mean again overall the card quality is superb now this has a little edge right there on it just a tiny bit the, the card quality is good overall this feels very similar to card quality from force of will and uh, maybe a little Weiss schwartz so yeah, that just gives you an idea of how good the card quality is. But like I said, I, I'm pretty sure they don't have permission to use this art. Uh, it's, it's a real shame because this could have been a very successful, legitimate product. Again, it's more of a niche product, but yeah, there you go. That's uh, Goddess Story is the name of the game. And again, I have no idea how the game works. <laughs> At least that's, that's, they say it's a game. I mean, there's stats on the back. You know, just in case you hadn't seen the back of the cards. Yeah, these are the stats that are on the back. And I guess this is all the the data that you would need to actually play the game. So I guess maybe this is more just targeted towards a Chinese audience, which is fine. Um, but yeah, got it here in the States. And again, like I said, the card quality is beautiful. It's nice, thick stock. Just a darn shame, man. Anyways, thanks for checking out the video, guys. Uh, I I guess I can put an affiliate link in the description for this if you want to look at it. Um, I didn't pay very much for this. I think I paid like $23, $24 for it. So it's not an expensive product. But again, considering the card quality, it's actually pretty good. Um, like I said, I do have a problem with them using artwork from people that they may have not had permission to use it. Um, so I obviously cannot endorse that sort of practice or this product based on that. But I mean, yeah, people, if people are going to buy this sort of stuff, they're going to buy it regardless of what I say. Um, all I can say is, again, damn shame, a real shame. Um, if you know anybody that makes this kind of art, support them, you know, buy a print from them. Because a lot of times this art, it takes time to make these. It's not, you know, I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, there's AI generation and all that. Now I go, yeah, but some of these are not generated by AI. In fact, I can guarantee you almost 
pretty much all of these are not AI generated. Somebody took the time to go and, man, I got a reflection there. Somebody took the time to go and create all this stuff. You know, and it's, it, it's, it's, you know, I wish I had this sort of talent. If I did, I would make art like this too and sell it and make money. <laughs> but of course, as you can see, it's hard to make money selling this because people steal the artwork. Please don't steal the artwork. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Uh, we will see you next time.